What would you say to the church to get in there to be winsome, to be ready to give a sound answer when they're asked? If you're a beginner and want to learn more about how to defend your faith, I would say take a look at a book like Paul Little's book, Know Why You Believe, or Lee Strobel's book, uh, Case for the Creator and Case for Christ. These are excellent introductory books that are very substantive. They've got good content, but they're written on a beginner's level. There's also loads of free resources on our reasonablefaith.org website that are available to anyone who would like to access them. Gang, it it is not just your option, it is your Christian duty. Uh, I will never study the historicity of the resurrection at the University of Munich in Germany. But I do need to be conversant about the historical evidences for the resurrection of Christianity. It is the final apologetic, apart from my own transformed life, that I need to be fluent in. And and I hope that you are inspired by this man's life work to, to get in the game and to realize that no matter how deep you dig, there are sound answers. And and use Dr. Craig as your resource to go with your intellectual friends. Uh, Christianity is intellectually defensible, yes? Absolutely, I think it stands head and shoulders above any other philosophy or ism that you might care to hold. Okay, so give your two minutes to the person who is here, the skeptic, uh, make your appeal to their heart. Um, uh, you know, we, we just beg the believer to get in the game, to be ready to give an answer, yeah. but what would you say to the person who, who needs to go beyond Uh, just their questions and walking away. The the great American philosopher William James once made a very profound statement that I like in this regard. He said, we may be in the universe as dogs and cats are in our libraries, seeing the books and hearing the conversation, but having no inkling of the meaning of it all. And I think that the skeptic needs to ask himself, how do I know that I'm not wrong? that I'm like this dog or cat in a library filled with knowledge and with meaning and I I simply don't apprehend it. There are those who claim to have found this meaning and this source of existence and they can offer intelligent, defensible arguments in support of this view and therefore I think you owe it to yourself to begin to look into it. If this message is the truth, if it's really the truth, then it is the greatest news ever announced that the infinite God of the universe should love you and want you to be his personal friend. There could be no higher status that a human being could enjoy than that. And so you owe it to yourself to look into it.